Hawaiian soul food. It's been a staple at one restaurant for nearly 75 years, and now the community is stepping up to honor their legacy as they prepare to close their doors. Alina Lee takes us there. Haile's Hawaiian food. It's a community staple just like the food they serve. The lomi salmon, poi, and, and uh, chicken long rice. That's the best for me. Pipi kaula, poi, and squid luau. I'm going to miss her so much. The restaurant was home to almost four generations of families since 1950, and now they're serving up their last orders. They would be very satisfied with where my sisters and I brought the business. We tried our best. We did what they taught us. All of our um, children, and our grandchildren, everyone can hold their heads up high. Haile's is not the only restaurant going away. Taiyo Ramen will also close its doors on Saturday. Its owners ready to retire. Customers, including Lorraine's classmates from Kamehameha schools, are stopping by one last time to remember simpler times. Haile's has been here our whole lives, from Ala Moana, you know, and all the various places. So this is our life. When you hear the Haile name, our generation, you know, you say Haile and you, everybody remembers they're at the fish market. Lorraine says it's bitter sweet, but it's time for her to finally do everything she's put on hold since taking over. I'm thinking about my mom and dad and how proud they, they feel. My mother always stressed making sure that um, we did the right thing and we lived the right way. And I, I, it's just heartwarming to see all of my friends from high school and customers that have become friends. Shout out to the class of 1970. That's our classmate Lorraine Haile. We're so proud of her. Sunday will be the last time to grab some authentic Hawaiian food here at Haile's. Lorraine says she hopes to start catering a few months after she settled into this new era of her life. Alina Lee, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.